Hello, I'm Mark Beshard, the Managing Editor of Moonstone Publications. South Africa's short-term insurance industry faces the challenge of managing a number of evolving risks. With me today is Daryl Greater, the Executive Head of Distribution at Discovery Insure, to talk about some of those risks. Good day, Daryl. Hi, Mark. It's, uh, it's great to be here, and I'm looking forward to our conversation. Same here. Let's uh, start by looking back at COVID and the lockdown. Did this result in Discovery Insurance clients making significant changes to their policies? Well, firstly, Discovery Business Insurance never offered uh, business interruption cover that was linked to contagious or infectious diseases. So our clients weren't part of that debacle um, where, where clients had to go to court to get their claims paid. However, what happened during that unfortunate time is that it got the market and it got business owners asking the right questions about how correct or how adequate is their insurance coverage. And it got, uh, it got many business clients specifically having you know, necessary conversations with their brokers about the adequacy of the risk protection that had been, that had been afforded to them. Um, if you look at the South African market as a whole and just the importance of business interruption cover, um, you know, one of the top five reasons for SME clients or SME businesses going out of business is business interruption. Mm -hmm. And the good news is that it's an insurable um, exposure um, for, for many perils still remaining in the South African insurance market. Um, and I think, you know, that, that definitely gives an opportunity to brokers and to insurers uh, to ensure that they, they offer the very best in, in current cover linked to business interruption that uh, they can hopefully keep more and more clients afloat in such times. Mm -hmm. Two of the major insurers have uh, reduced the cover on, on business interruption. Um, what is your thoughts about this? How is this going to develop? I think it's important to note that it's the extended cover that has been withdrawn from, from the reinsurers themselves. And I think, you know, the reinsurers um, often take the lead in, in, the, in the cover and the exposures um, that, that, that is acceptable to the insurance market. Um, so the, the two main extended covers um, that were impacted was the, uh, the extended public utilities cover with obviously the, uh, you know, the, the, the concern relating to grid failure. Mm -hmm. And then secondly, the extended telecommunications uh, exposure uh, to telecommun telecommunications connections. Um, and you know, again, the reinsurers uh, themselves um, were, were, not, were not very uh, confident, I think, just with the exposures on these going forward. Um, and, and I think the, you know, you'll see more of that to come as reinsurers consider the exposure and just the concentration of risk um, in various markets. The recent data breach at TransUnion has once again brought cybersecurity and privacy into the headlines. What is Discovery's insurer's experience when it comes to the demand for cyber insurance? You know, at, I think at one stage, um, a widespread cyber event was considered, you know, potentially the next black swan event. But, but now that it's a foreseeable risk, I don't think we can really call it a swan because it's, it's actually foreseen. Um, but, but, but I think it's, it definitely keeps many underwriters and many insurers up at night in terms of what would actually happen to the global economy, to capacity, to claims costs if there was, uh, you know, take for instance, a large portion of the internet went down for a few days or a few weeks. The impact to global trade, um, just the impact to life as we know it, it's a substantial risk. Um, my personal view is, is I think that many, many intermediaries are not that confident in actually selling a cyber policy in the South African market. There have actually been various studies and independent studies and surveys done um, with financial advisors and specialist short-term brokers which show um, that on average many intermediaries um, don't feel as confident. And, and it's unfortunate because it's such a needed, it's such a necessary cover in the South African context um, as well as the global context. I often, often make use of an example of a, a simple optometrist, you know, in the middle of town. Um, many brokers, uh, you know, may not offer such a client a cyber policy. But when you consider the risk exposure of that business and that optometrist has client lists, um, it has confidential information as regulated by the Poppy Act, um, they have medical aid information of their clients, they have banking details and payment details of their clients. This is really sensitive information. Mm. And if such an optometrist, to use the example, was hacked, I'm pretty certain that business owner um, would have wished their broker had offered them a cyber policy. Um, and that's why, you know, I think it's important that insurers, um, you know, like Discovery Business Insurance, where, where, where I work at Discovery, it's important that we continue to hold the hand of the broker who may not be as confident to, to, to sort of underwrite that policy, to provide an adequate needs analysis and record of advice on the cyber exposure. And that's important that we step up, we partner with such brokers to ensure that we give, you know, the best of breed cover um, to all SME clients. Um, it remains fundamental in my view. 
um, and very important for every business owner to have the cover. Right. Um, the war in Ukraine is having an impact on the supply chains, including those that feed into the uh, automotive industry. Does Discovery Insure foresee this having an impact on personal and commercial motor vehicle insurance? Yes, um, I think just if you look at the macroeconomic impacts, um, you know, the simple answer is yes, even before Ukraine. Um, I think if you consider just what's happened coming out of the COVID-19 pandemic in terms of claims cost inflation, uh, we've done a lot of work at this at, at Discovery and uh, we've seen far higher claims cost inflation versus sort of standard CPI. Um, you know, we've seen sort of over eight, nine percent um, increases in, in part prices in a, in a very short space of time. Um, and this is really linked to just supply chain pressure, specifically relating to world shipping. There's just less containers and less, less shipping capacity in the world. Um, and and, and then that's, that's coming through quite strongly in, in what we've seen more recently in the financial results of some of the largest insurance companies in South Africa and abroad. I think if you just retrospect to the last sort of four or five weeks, um, there have been multiple large insurers, um, including you know, Discovery, that have released their financial results, and all of them show an increase in the loss ratio, on average sort of 6-7%. Um, and, 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 and it's really been attributed to you know, higher claims cost inflation as well as, as, well as weather patterns. Um, and this is, not, this is not just a South African phenomenon. I think if you look at the US market, um, the, you know, the, the North American insurers are some of the largest insurers in the world. And uh, they've also posted some, some far higher loss ratios in the recent financial results. I mean, Progressive is one of the largest insurance companies and they've released, you know, I think, their, their worst loss ratio ever. Um, and it's again directly relinked to the, just the cost of parts, the cost of paint, the cost of imports, um, even on the non-motor side. You know, many of these markets, if you take South Africa, you know, we don't manufacture fridges and TVs, etc. here, we import them. Um, and we have the same exposures to that, to that inflation. Um, so coming back to, coming back to Ukraine, um, it's, it's definitely going to impact sort of global trade. Um, and again, you know, when it's going to impact global trade, um, it's going to impact shipping and it's going to exacerbate what's already quite a sensitive situation. Apart from the uh, war in Ukraine, what are some of the other key challenges that are facing the South African short-term insurance sector? So I think, you know, just, just you know, besides Ukraine, um, just recovering from the COVID-19 pandemic, um, we've, we, we've already seen, you know, quite a, quite a stretched consumer. Um, We've seen, we've seen pressure in, in disposable income. Um, we've seen higher costs, you know, linked to higher claims frequencies. Um, you know, the weather hasn't helped. I think if you just consider what's happened in Gauteng in the South African market, it hasn't stopped raining, um, you know, since October. You know, it's been really, really heavy rainfall and, and consistent rainfall. And that translates into billions of rands of extra claims versus a couple of years ago. Speaking about weather, I must just, you know, based on where we are today on the 12th of April, I must just say to, to everyone who has sort of family and loved ones in Durban um, that on behalf of Discovery, our hearts go out to everyone that's been impacted by the severe flooding and by the loss of life. Um, it's deeply saddened us all. Uh, we have teams on the ground right now just, just trying to, you know, we, we're getting to, to, to as much of the, uh, the, 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 the badly hit areas as, as possible. Um, and, uh, and, you know, we, we really hope that we'll be able to bring some relief there. But, but again, it's just another example if you consider, you know, the flooding in George, very, very, um, very, very bizarre and odd for such an area. Mm. You know, you, you consider just a more widespread sort of hail pattern developing, um, less, less, uh, less predictable. And, you know, you consider internationally, you know, I've got cousins in Florida and they mentioned, you know, a couple of months ago it was, it was snowing there. So I think if you just look at weather patterns overall, um, the unpredictability of weather um, is, is definitely going to increase claims costs, exacerbated by claims cost inflation. Again, it's going to put pressure on loss ratios. And if you just take it back to the South African market, um, you know, a delta of 6% six, uh, 6 on the loss ratio is material for any insurance company because the insurance market is a low margin industry. The insurance market isn't a market where insurance companies make you know, 15, 20, 30% margins. In a good year, many of them make five, six, seven percent. So it's a material delta in the loss ratio. So my personal experience is I think the market will harden. I think there's going to be far stricter underwriting. Um, and the reinsurers are also going to be, be a lot more, uh, lot more cautious um, relating to all types of exposures. I think just as these claims costs, you know, um, sort of collectively come together. All right. Well, Daryl, thank you for your time and your insights. I've been speaking to Daryl Grater, the Executive Head of Distribution at Discovery Insure.